We're gonna test out some 357 loads today and we're just gonna have a good time. We're gonna try some more ballistic testing and materials testing to ensure the safety of our buildings that we're in and things that we can utilize to uh, save ourselves in case of an emergency. Uh, we've got our MEC shotgun reloading press. This thing has worked flawlessly for us in the past. We're gonna see if it stills as bolt proof as, as it has been. And we're gonna uh, uh, do some ballistic testing to see if our loads um, really can eventually make this thing malfunction. But so far, this thing has functioned uh, basically flawlessly. Uh, no issues with it. Oh yeah, lever works beautifully. Oh yeah, it rocks solid. Yeah, all right, yeah. Okay, perfect, see? Works great every time. Hey, don't drink out of the communist bucket of bullet catching. That's mushroomed out. Oh, man. Now, what we got here? We got a ballistic milk jug full of water from, uh, from Costco. We've got our three quarter inch solid wood plywood electrical sign we've got a cookie tin full of uh little uh granite gravel we've got some wood plywood behind that and then we got uh pretty much nothing all right let's see if this thing will work let's see what we can do to stop a 158 grain oh gross did you step in a dead yes hurt? i did that's disgusting from approximately a certain distance oh yeah there's a piece of lead in there too somewhere Let's see what we did here. That caused some extensive hydrostatic damage right there. Now granted, this is, uh, you know, solid wood to say. I mean, all those plywood, it's solid in there. So by the time it hit this, it dispersed a lot of energy. We'll dig that out back at the, uh, out at the ranch. Looks like we need to shoot this through the ladder, through the granite, into the other stuff. Let's see what happens next. All right. We made it through the plywood, through the lead, into the granite, and I suspect we caught it in the granite. Look at that, awesome. Let's see if we can do this one more time. Might as well get two for the price of one, right? To make things more interesting, let's put this, this little guy right here. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I must, I must have had it. Oh, I put it on wrong. All right, went there. That didn't do a whole lot because it went through lengthwise, but those definitely didn't stop it. Into the plywood and uh, it, it keyholed. All right, let's try this again the right way. What do we have here? I think we hit low. Take three. There's our entry wound. Went through, one, two, three, four. You see it's expanding, it's getting bigger and bigger. Five, six, seven, eight, nine layers. As it's going through, it's doing more and more damage. That's that's not insignificant. The bullet actually has bounced back. We better do more, we got some more bullets until this thing's empty, right? Let's see what we've done here. We shot this piece of lead, which is a lot more bullet resistant than you would think. Oh, is that not the coolest? <laughs> Look at that. It completely inverted it. Oh, that that's sweet. So here we've got the 357 Ruger Security 6. We've got a 70 something year old zinc organ pipe loaded with 125 grain XTP 38 special loads. 
There, I shot it. I saw that. Sweet. All right, now what we have here, we have here another fine Ruger. Now this here, Ruger P85, Mark Dose, it is one fine metal gun. It doesn't get the love that it deserves, but it deserves a lot of love. Now we're gonna take another shot at the organ pipe. Oh, I did hit this one once, right yeah. there. Now this is family game night at its best. <laughs> hey guys, that was an organ pipe. It was special. What are you doing to it? As you can see, the press has held up once again, proving that this thing is bulletproof. I mean, there is hardly a nick or a dent on this thing. And it looks like it's gonna operate just as beautifully as ever. We had one item. I don't think it is firearms related, but we did have this piece that uh, fell off. But I think, I think that was going to come off anyway. I think we were having some issues before. Easy fix right there. Easy peasy. Um, this thing, uh, yeah, it just sits nice and flat now. Oh yeah, that that is just a thing of beauty right there.